Hey guys, this is Yanni from Trillion Quality Systems and this is another uh, support video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be going over how to properly use the BCF or the bead correction factor uh, instruction and uh, going through the motions of doing that uh, so you can understand how to use it properly. Um, some of this is going to go over to you know how to use the BCF, but uh, for example, we're going to be going over how to pick the correct point uh, to apply because you don't want to apply it to all points and then how to apply the correction to the affected stage point. So here we are in the um, S view of your panel and you'll see here that I've picked you know, roughly 10 points uh, on my part here and you know, some of these points are marginal. I can come in here and you know, double click and turn on my elements, which is my stage points, just to show you where everything sits. Um, and you'll notice here that you know, there's you know, a few points that are sitting above the marginal line and a few and one over the red line. In this case, I'm just going to apply the BCF to point number three, um, where it's sitting right above the line. Um, this isn't the best part to do the BCF because it, that there wasn't really a bead on this part, uh, but you'll understand how to apply it. Um, in this case, I've already exported the um, the stage points into my uh, Trillion stage point file for my Excel sheet. So if I bring that over here, you'll see that. Um, I have some, you know, point number three is a failure point and all the calculations have been done on the stage point sheet. This is the basic way to do it. Um, it's not necessarily the correct way to do it, but you'll understand what I'm getting at. Um, in this case, uh, point number three is what I want to apply it to. So you'll see it's red um, and I have my thickness numbers here. Um, I have my material thickness when it's starting. I have my thickness at that specific point in both millimeters and in inches. This is important to, to notice because all it's doing is mathematically taking the percentage of thinning, uh, you know, and doing the math behind what the actual thickness is and giving you a value at that particular point. Uh, so that's how this is going to start working. Um, so if I go back into my Argus here, uh, when I hit, um, when I go to use the BCF, I want to highlight the point uh, or points that I want to apply the BCF. If I pick multiple points, the macro will cycle through uh, each numerical point individually for the values that you need to add. Um, so um, in this case, I'm going to remember uh, for point three that the beginning thickness is one millimeter or the thickness entering as we're going to talk about in a second is one millimeter and the thickness at that specific point is 0 0.810 millimeters. So when I go back in here and I select point three, I can then hit the purple button to apply the BCF and you'll see that it's asking me for those values. The T enter means thickness enter, which is one millimeter in this case. The thickness exit, which is the thickness at that point, um, is point, point 0.810. So if I hit OK, it's going to automatically take those numbers, apply it through the algorithm or the actual mathematical value. Um, for that and, and apply the correction. It will not, and I repeat, will not change it in the actual Argus itself. This is just for the Excel sheet to move it down uh, in the plain strain vertical limit. So if it was 0.3 was here, whatever the, the new value is, it'll move it down in the Excel sheet, but it will not show it here. Um, so now if I go into my uh, results folder, you'll notice that along with my, you know, my distance FLC thinning sheet, the, the trillion thinning sheet, there's a new uh, Excel sheet called stage points with BCF correction. If I open that, <clears throat> you'll see here that it applied, uh, similar to the stage point file, it, it has the values that you've added into um, from that point three. So this is the original where it says that there is a minor strain, the major strain, the old value, the distance FLC, the old value, uh, it has the values that you've entered of the thickness enter is one millimeter, the thickness exit is 0.81. It applied a BCF value of point of 12.64, uh, and these are the new values here um, that you'll notice um, on the sheet here. So it moved it down uh, from being um, where where it was, and now it actually brought it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these three values. That's all I need is. Uh, columns G, H, and I, which are the BCF uh, value, the new and the old. I'm going to just hit Control C. Sorry, uh, if I just highlight these and you right click and I set copy, I can then go into my trillion stage point file and you'll see that it's got the same values here that I can just highlight that folder and do a paste. And you'll notice that all of a sudden 
this this red value has now turned green because I've applied the BCF. And then you can you know do that for each perspective number. Um, so that's how pretty much how easy it is to apply the BCF. The chart will automatically update for you. As you notice, it went from red to green um, when I applied it. And this is where on your cover sheet you want to apply say that BCF was applied to 0.3, you know, say five and six, whatever um, that you've applied it to. Um, and that's the nuts and bolts of how to apply it uh, on, a, on a basic level. Uh, now, the true basic um, principle of applying the BCF factor, um, let's, uh, when it says the thickness enter, it, it is looking at the material thickness before you start. So you can mic the stock of material to make sure you have that, that thickness. And then the thickness exit isn't necessarily at the specific point that you're applying it to. It would be the tangent point after the bead. So as it goes through the bead and comes right back out, um, it's the point in the flat right after the tangent point of the radius. So um, let's pretend that there's a bead here on the side here. Uh, let's say it's coming out of the bead here. Um, I would pick a point like that's right at the tangent point, like right here per se, um, and get that value of thinning and then do the mathematical equation at that point because anything above that point could be a stretch and you might be applying too much BCF. Uh, so you'd apply it in the same way, but picking a different point uh, to then apply it, that value to this point to see if that point is safe. Because by me applying it to this in initial failure area, there could be some stretch inherently from, you know, the clamping down of the um, of the binder. Uh, so it's not a true reading of a BCF. So the BCF is meant to be taken directly out of the uh, tangent point um, of the actual bead. So a quick representation of what I'm talking about here. Here, here would be a side view, and excuse the crude drawing here, but a side view would be um, from drawing here, and here, here's a bead here, and it's coming back up, and then you're going up a side wall here to the actual form part. Um, let's pretend here for a second that you have a point that is up here that you are applying the BCF to. Um, you're not going to necessarily pick this point um, and do exactly how I showed you how to do the BCF because again, there's going to be stretch all up and down this wall uh, that you might be uh, applying too much of a correction factor. Um, what you want to do is come to the tangent point down here, which is the thickness exit would be the value of the point right here. Um, so you can really take that value and say, okay, what is the thickness of the material at that point? Because that's the one that's going right through the bead and comes out. That's where they say thickness exit. So the thickness enter is before the thickness exit is after the bead. And then whatever value you get here, as far as the, uh, if we go back to the Excel sheet, this BCF factor will be calculated from that point and then applied. You can then apply that, um, that value or the thickness of, of the material here. The thickness exit number would be here. And always remember, whatever point you do choose, let's say it's at this point, you want to make sure it's perpendicular in the area of that point here. You don't want to just pick like a random point out here to apply over here. Uh, so make sure it's a perpendicular straight line shot right down to the bead, that right at that tangent point. Take that value and then apply it to those points. And so each point that you apply the BCF to will have a different value depending on where you're picking it. Like if I were to apply it to this point here, I would draw a straight line down to wherever the bead stopped. Like if there was a bead here, then pick that point, find out what the value was, the bead correction value was, and then apply this value from this and this exit value to that point to make sure I got the right value. So with that, uh, that was the basic instruction of how to use the BCF. Uh, please use it in a smart way. Uh, don't use it in all areas that don't apply. You know, sometimes it is just a stretch. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Again, this is Yanni uh, uh, from Trillion uh, Quality Systems. Uh, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, and also hit that little bell at the bottom um, to get uh, notifications anytime that we post a new video. Uh, so until next time, thank you so much.